Hello everybody and welcome to my January journal with me. So I'm very excited for this journal with me video because I decided to do a sort of constellation and star theme. So as of right now I'm just writing the word January and then I'm going in and drawing some stars and some constellations and hopefully these are a little bit accurate because I was just kind of copying a picture on Pinterest so hopefully they're correct. I also decided to draw the Leo constellation because that is my sign. How very Leo of me. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just going to go in with some washi tape and add some stars and things around the constellations and that's kind of the title page. So now on to this page, I'm drawing out the calendar for January and I'm pretty proud of myself because I feel like I always end up messing up drawing the boxes for the calendars every month, but this month I did alright. I didn't make any mistakes. The lines were actually straight, which never happens, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then I will just be adding some washi tape and writing January at the top. So I decided to add some stars around the word January before going to the bottom left corner for my trackers. So my subscriber counter will just keep track of the subscriber amount that I have at the beginning of the month until the end of the month. I just think it's interesting to kind of see my progress throughout the month. And then I also have a tracker for my videos so it kind of helps me know when I need to film a video or when I need to edit it. It just kind of helps me keep organized when it comes to my upload schedule. I also decided to add some washi tape and I end up fixing it and putting it above just to keep the trackers separate. And then we have an angle change because I filmed this over a couple of different days. So I ended up fixing the washi tape on the bottom right corner. I just thought it would look better if it was going the other way. And then I could do it on the same on the top left of that page. And then I'm going in and drawing some more stars and some constellations. So I'm drawing the Capricorn one right now, which is my rising sign. And then I also go in and draw the Gemini one, which is my moon sign. I honestly don't know that much about astrology, but I know that much, so I decided to draw those. So now on the left side of this spread, I'm going to be doing my books read page. So I'm just going to keep track of all of the books that I am reading throughout the month. Um, I don't love the way that this spread came out, so I think I need to kind of go in and add some more stars throughout this page because I don't feel like I added enough. But then I'm just going in with some washi tape to kind of keep the title and the books listed separate. And then on the right side of the page, I'm going to be doing my pages read per day spread, which is one of my favorites that I do every month. So I will just keep track of how many pages I read every day of the month. And yeah.
So as you can see, I do end up adding some stars and stuff to the bottom of that page, but I definitely feel like I need to add some more at the top by the titles of those pages, but I will do that later. I don't actually show it in this video because I'm just thinking that now watching it. So now onto the next page, I'm doing my video ideas and bookstagram ideas spread. Um, I don't know if this is a spread that I will continue to use just because I feel like sometimes I really use it and sometimes I don't, um, but I really wanted to do it this month just because I wanted to see if it was something that I used. And then over on the right side of this page, I will be doing my habit tracker. So I have a few things that I like to track every month and I have a list of them and I will just fill in the square every day if I actually do that habit in that day. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I also think that my camera cuts out when I'm doing my habit tracker. So you don't see me put the washi tape completely down and then I draw some stars. So you don't really miss that much, but I didn't notice until after I'd already done that. But yeah, that's my habit tracker page. So now we are on to my weekly spread pages. So this is another spread that I'm not really sure if I'm going to continue to do um, because what I use this journal for and what I'm doing right now, I don't really need a space to write down things that are happening every single day. So what I might end up doing is getting rid of these weekly spread pages and just having one page for like a to-do list. And if I have any important dates or anything, I will add that to the calendar page at the beginning of the month. Um, but I am going to see how I use this month and see what ends up happening. But yeah, that's what I'm doing for right now. I'm drawing a black circle to show the date of each day and I'm going in with a white gel pen to write the number which you can't really see on camera but it does show up a bit better in person and then I'm writing the day of the week and then to separate each day I'm drawing some stars which is nice to see all sped up and see it happen much faster because this was a bit time consuming to do that for each day of the month but I do really like the way it turned out so I'm happy I decided to do it. So then in that empty space in the left side of the page, I'm drawing the constellations again and some more stars just to add a bit of interest in that empty space. And then again, I'm going in with some more washi tape just because I love the washi tape that I used for this month. So I wanted to kind of put it in as much as possible.
So now I'm just doing the same thing on this last page. I'm doing the last week of the month and I'm doing it the exact same that I did on the first page. Um, adding the washi tape at the top and doing the stars to separate them and then I put some more constellations in the empty white space. So now on the right side of the page, normally this is where I would end my journal, but I am participating in a readathon this month. So I wanted to create a spread for the Swiftathon readathon and my TBR for that readathon. So just writing Swiftathon at the top and then TBR, and then I don't end up showing what my TBR is because I didn't really know what it was going to be when I was filming this. I wasn't completely sure. So I just wrote TBR, added some washi tape, and then wrote the dates of the readathon on the bottom right side of the page. So that is going to complete my January journal with me. Here's a final flip through of what every spread ended up looking like. I really like the way everything came out. I'm really happy with the star and constellations theme. But other than that, that is the end of this journal with me. So I'd love to know if you guys want me to continue to do these videos in the future for throughout the rest of the year, um, because I really like doing them and I just love journaling. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.